All right, so. It was like, it was that fast. That was the King Dust School and, and the Brown Hornet. And the King Dust and Captain Brown Hornet got a new project coming. And, you know, that whole Black Fist thing. That was not only, like, I got a Black Fist Records was, Black Fist Records was Death Row before Death Row. Okay. When I say that, because it was built by some real dudes, like, real dudes from the hood. And they was really getting money, like, paid in full. You know what I'm saying is um your, your pen game, your pen game was terrific. You know what I'm saying? And every time I hear something that you post or something that you pushing and promoting, which seemed like every other day, new material, it's like yo, something like this. Shout out to real job studios, you know what I mean? Right, right. And it's like the craft is it's just like yo, it's expanded, like it got mad crazy. Yo, yo, your pen game, it got mad crazy range, right? So what I wanted to ask you was like, through the time that you've been around a lot of these artists, like you said, you know, with the bigs, the loonies and things like that, did you ever get into any ghostwriting? Um, I have done some ghostwriting, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I have, um, I have done some ghostwriting, you know what I'm saying? I guess I'm not really supposed to get into the specifics because it's called ghostwriting, right? Right, right. But, um, I've worked, I've worked with, 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 um, with what I can say, you know what I'm saying? I work with Heather Hunter, you know what I'm saying? And she's a cool person. Right. And it was, it was dope working with her. And I also got an opportunity to, like, write some hooks for Felix Post Morning. Okay. And that's about it. I work with some other people, too, but, like, you said, Ghost Ray, you're not really supposed to speak on that, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and left they didn't pay me, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's the only reason why I'm telling y'all about it. Inspector Dex stole love letter because, you know, at the time we was them, so I guess it was cool. And even now, it wasn't like, it wasn't ghostwriting because he just stole it. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So right. ghostwriting would have been my consent. Like, y'all don't understand, this is how it happened. It was like, I was in the studio and I recorded a song called Love Letter. Oh. And, you know, I, 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 a song that, you know, all my music is based around real life stuff. So I, I, I record a song, Love Letter, I'm saying, based on life experiences. And he comes to the studio and he hears the record and he's like, yo, this is crazy. Yo, it's dope. I, I like this record. Mm. So the next day, this is the studio that we all work out of. This is our studio, our personal studio. Okay. Next day, I come to the studio. I walk in the studio. I hear the beat from my song playing. So I'm thinking they listening to my record. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I get in the studio. They listening to a new version of my record wow. that Inspector Deck did. Mm. And I'm like... Yo, and then he's looking at my face like, if you see it, I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on here? He like, yo, I was so inspired by your record, I uh, went home and it just related to my life. And wow. I felt like I wanted to do a version of it. And you can hop wow. on it and it'd be like the remix. All right, so like, the remix, my, my dream is to come back <laughs> in my head, I'm saying this. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm a team player, so... Yeah. I'm bugging in my head, like, yo, they stole my record. Right, but right. it's like, you know, I'm feeling like, this the big homie inspected deck, you know, this is all atomically and all of this. Right. And, you know, we, 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 I was honored and amazed that, you know, somebody, some people would call him, like, their, their favorite rapper. You know, right. Like, they one of their greatest rappers. So I was honored that, I was honored that, that, that a rapper of this level, you know what I'm saying? Either one to use something to mind. You know what I'm saying? That's like, I'm pretty sure Bleak would have did the same thing for Hove or, or Beans or, you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 it, or whatever, you know, if it, whatever situation it was, it, it would have been the same. So, you know, at that time, it wasn't nothing because we a team. Right. But it's like now, like I said, you running around and you can fix your face to say, to say some kind of foul things about me. You know what I mean? Right. It makes me feel like, you know, let's talk about all of these things that you did 
that nobody knows. Like, you want to make me seem out like the bad guy. I'm the dude who, who was helping you get your swag, right? I'm the dude who's like, me and Big is on, is on, is on, is on. We did a hook on the album. We ain't get to get credit for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, we did a whole bunch of other shit. So, it's like, niggas was just using us to soak up, to soak up our energy, you know what I'm saying? To keep them, to keep their minds fresh, to keep, okay. to keep they shit swag in on point, like, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people look at situations like, yo, those, these dudes, they trying to help, help us. Nah, they ain't really trying to help us. They was more interested in helping themselves, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, they, they just trained us for, for everything they could get out of us, like, like, that, that's the type of things that was going on. So, you know, when you look at that situation, it's like, Damn, I mean, this the same dude that I was running around ready to put hands on Joe Buttons for got the nerve to fix his face to say something foul about me. The same dude that, you know, took my song and I walked in the studio and said, nah, yo, you the big homie, whatever, like, that's that sad, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm, that's why I'm speaking on today because I'm bitter or I'm mad anybody did anything to me. Nah, I'm happy with my life. I got a beautiful family. I'm saying, Everybody around me groovy, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't worried. Gotcha, brother, and I, def I definitely see that. I definitely recognize that. Um, now, there's two, there's two more major questions I gotta ask you, all right? So, the first one I want to get to right now is being that, you know, you out there in Staten Island. You've been out there in Charlotte and things like that. Now, do you think Staten Island needs an artistic makeover or facelift so to speak and the reason why i'm asking that is because i would like to say at least 90 percent of the media right refers to staten island as shaolin for one reason so i'm saying do you think that staten island needs a facelift right now i mean i believe we do and no disrespect to uh, and, and I say this, I say this because I'm trying to be politically correct. It's never a cop out, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's never, I can say anything I want to say, you know what I mean? But I'm going to say it politically correct, you know, respect to what, what, what they contributed to, to, to the shape of Staten Island and, and, and all of that. But, yeah, because when you think of Staten Island, you think of, Wu Tang, you know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people got this in their head that that this is like Wu Tang land, like like Disney Land is in Florida, this is Wu Tang land. And, like, and, and they're singing like the it's a small world tribe, I mean with the W's up. It's not like that out here, you know what I'm saying? I mean I don't really wanna shit on niggas, but I gotta tell it like it is, like, you know, I can't say that, 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 that they gave back as much as they took, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of credit, you know, Staten Island, you sell in, that's Staten Island. And that's what made all of us great, you know what I'm saying, is the support from the borough. And okay. I, I think this, the borough may have supported them more than they supported the borough back. You know okay. Saying? That's a fair and answer. A lot of people are, are, don't really feel... Like, if you came here to stand out and you asked the question of Malcolm, you might not get the response you expect. Right. You might expect right. people to start doing backflips and tell you all kinds of great stories. You're more likely to get a whole bunch of messed up stories. Right. 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 I could tell a million, but me telling it is I'm going to look like a hater. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it won't change fans. Salute to them. Right. It's like, they like in the cold. You can't tell them nothing bad about anything. They got to do it, won't change. 